and they are going to do some aerial dance while we do a song called America. Veronica Marie, everybody. Most people know the bring me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses quote on the Statue of Liberty that prefaces the island of Manhattan. But a lesser known part of that inscription is the first line of that quote. Keep ancient lands, your storied pomp. It's a weird sentence, but it means that the old world isn't supposed to send America its successful or its rich or its famous. America is supposed to help people become all that instead. I was born and raised in TV land, Los Angeles, California, but it was in my boys' years that I became friends with two different American reality TV stars, Troy McLean of The Apprentice Season 1 and Brittany Hatch of America's Next Top Model, Cycle 8. These two could not be any more different than the title of their TV shows would suggest. I feel like I know three Troys. Troy 1 is the all-American country boy that most people who know of Troy know. In my opinion, I think Troy 1 needs to take a back seat a little more often, or at least a nap. Troy 2 is the Donald Trump business shark, and I don't think this Troy likes me very much. He likes my work and he trusts me, and that's more important to Troy 2 than liking me. Troy 3 is zen, calm, empathetic, and thoughtful, determined, and principled, passionate, and really freaking funny. Troy 3 is a high school only graduate with more IQ and EQ than 100 Harvard alums. And I'm proud to say he's one of my best friends and quite possibly the most influential person in my life. she is for me Corinne. Corinne is Britney's middle name, which she explained she had to use after she was kicked off the TV show. Apparently the European modeling world thought it was beneath the industry to hire anyone from American reality TV. Corinne's run on that show was not entirely negative, far from it. She made it to the final five, which is just as far as Troy got on Trump's show. But where Troy lost with grace, Britney lost ugly. Coming off an episode where she struggled to remember some lines, Britney followed that up with a late arrival to a shoot. And despite being a front runner to win the competition, two strikes in a row on national TV did her in. Troy is grateful for his run on reality TV and how it catapulted his life. When I told Troy that he needed to be more understanding of Corinne's situation, he countered with this. I was a C student in high school who got fired on national TV for not having enough education. And now, that's the theme of my motivational speeches. People need to just nut up and stop using a crutch. Troy likes to say. Now it's here, the past is over. Wanna make the best of my world until it's my time to fly away. Corinne is stunning. The camera loves her. She knows how to pose, she knows how to sound, she knows how to wear all black without looking cliche. But the larger reason I wanted to work with Corinne was because she was trying to evolve. When all five feet 11 inches of her showed up at my office one day, she was looking for work and I was looking for a spokesman. But she had a brilliant art book in the making too that I believe she will one day get published. She had other talents from graphic design and interior design to a unique writing voice, both in poetry and prose, a cut to the chase approach that leaves in the dust her ranty millennial cohorts. I was disappointed when Corinne moved back to New York last summer, largely because I would no longer see much of my beautiful friends, but more really because I feared she may devolve into excessive club hopping, excessive drug taking, and whatever other excess happens to models as Father Time, Mother Nature, and the Lower 
East Side turn them into former models. But that is my worry for Corinne, not her story to live. And whenever I think about her, I let the fear grow latent behind my enormous faith in her. sometimes if he'd thrive more in New York as New York thrives in him. Troy would bring an ethics and a compassion to business in the world's grandest city that the business world grandly needs from him. Whether you are a Troy McLean or a Brittany Hatch, there was a time New York represented American opportunity. Our country's only universal cultural tie. In this age of downward mobility, reality TV is the new Statue of Liberty. It's an opportunity for the disenfranchised to blossom, and it's a window into our nation's soul. Whether you like looking through it or not. What if Troy McLean's and Brittany Hatches could exist and excel in the same place at the same time? The Troy McLean's would see the cutting edge potential in all Brittany Hatches. The Brittany Hatches would hear the life changing perspective of all Troy McLean's. I see in this a new and fearless, a bolder and more compassionate, a world worthy. American dream. And that'd be a reality worth watching. Thank you. Velocity Pole Art, ladies and gentlemen. They have a booth right over there.